So let's say I have a basic platformer with one level. I'm going to show you how to make multiple levels and to make the player be able to go back and forth between the levels. So first I'm going to duplicate the first room to have a second level. In the second room, I'm going to delete the player instance and the camera instance. And I'm going to move things around so we can see the second room. Next, I'm going to make an entrance to the left of the room. And I'm going to make an exit to the right of the first room. Next, what we'll do is we'll have a, an exit object that we'll place on the right of the room here and on the left of the second room. And when the player collides with that object, we'll switch rooms. So first we'll create a sprite for that object. I'm going to click on edit image and fill it with the random color, just so we can see the object on the map and name it S exit for sprite exit. And next we're going to create the exit object with the sprite that we just created. And in that object, we're going to add a create event, which will set up a few variables. First is a target room. So when the player collides with that object, we'll go to this room and the target X and Y, which is the position at which we'll spawn the player when they collide with this object. So we need to add the collision event. So add a new event collision with the player object. And here we'll put in this code. So we'll go to the room and set the position of the player to the target X and Y position. We'll also rename this object to O exit. And now we'll place the object in both of the rooms. And we'll set the specific values in the creation code of these objects. So double click on the object in the room window and click on creation code. So for the first exit object, which is in the first room, we're going to put the target room as the second room. So the player, when the player collides with this object, he will go to the second room. And we'll set the target X and Y position to the position where we want the player to spawn in the second room. We can get these values by going to the second room and hovering over the position where we want the player to spawn, for example, around here. And there we can see in the bottom left corner of the screen, the X and Y position of the mouse here. We can just take these values and put them in the target x and y variables. Then we need to do the same thing with the exit object of the second room. So in the creation code, we'll put in this code. So we set the target room to the first room and the target x and y position to be on the left of the exit in the first room, so around here. Next, what we need to do is to go to the player object and we need to check the persistent box, which will make it so the player doesn't get destroyed once we leave a room. If we don't check that box and we go from the first room to the second room, there will be no player in the second room. So we need to do the same thing for the camera. So check the persistent box on the camera. And we also need to do the same thing for the rooms. If we don't check it for the rooms, the coins will reappear when we leave and we come back to the room, which might be what you want in some cases. But if not, you need to check this persistent box here and do it for both of the rooms. And now if we launch the game, it should work. Except the first time that we go to the second room, we can see that the camera glitches. It's because the initial position of the camera is in the top left corner. And since the code of my camera moves the position of the view 10% of the way towards the player every step to make it smoother. It means when we first go to this room, the view will not be at the right position. To fix that, we'll just add a new variable in the camera object that will make the position snap to the position of the player if the variable is true. So go to the camera object and add a new variable in the create event of the camera object, which is called snap to player and set it to false. And next in the step event, this line of code moves the camera 10% of the way towards the player every step. So we're going to replace this to snap to the player directly if the snap to player variable is set to true. So to do that, we need to replace this line of code with this. So if snap, if snap to player is true, we set it to false. So it happens only once. 
and we set the position directly to the position of the player, which are those variables. And if not, we just move the camera 10% of the way, like we did before. And now we just have to set this variable to true in the exit object when the player collides with the exit object. So set camera dot snap to player to true here. And now if we launch the game, this should have fixed our issue. 